This insane exploit gives you access to unlimited cursed treasure, which is amazing for gold hoarder levels, gold, and for gold hoarder commendations. You will also have a chance to get a chest specific to this voyage that I had never seen until the night that we tested this. Before we get started, I just want to give you guys a massive thank you for helping me reach my last subscriber goal. You guys hit it so fast, and just thank you so much. Um, if you aren't subscribed, I'm currently trying to make it to 5,000 subscribers, and it would mean a lot to me if you helped me hit that. And if you are subscribed, make sure you hit that like button. This exploit uses the legendary search for cursed treasure voyage to spawn pretty much unlimited cursed treasure all on one island. There is a few requirements though, which my videos don't normally have, but this one does have a few requirements. One requirement is that you will need a Brigantine or Galleon. However, I will offer you the best possible solution that I can think of, and if you guys have better ones, let me know. If you do not have anyone to do this exploit with, you can't invite any friends, they're not on, but you would still really like to try it, you guys can start a comment string down below, or I will start a comment string down below, and you guys can pair up down there and get a little group together. That way, all of you people who are solo can go ahead and try it for yourself. Just use the comments to work together so you guys can try these exploits that require multiple people. Maybe you guys can get a little group together that'll always try them. We'll see. If you don't have a person, that's the best advice I could offer you is to try and find someone in the comments below. And maybe you can find a few friends to help you do this. To start this exploit, as I said, you're going to need to hop onto a Brigantine or Galleon, and you will need at least three people on this Brigantine or Galleon. Once you are on the Galleon or Brigantine, you are going to need a rowboat. You're going to preferably need a harpoon one. Now this is just highly advised, but I'm going to say that you need it. After you obtain your rowboat, like I said, preferably a harpoon rowboat, head to Lookout Point on the south of the map, just south of Plunder Outpost. You're going to pick one person from your crew, or maybe two depending on what you decide, but you need to have enough people on the ship to vote for quests. So for us, we dropped one person off at the island, at Lookout Point. This person cannot die. So make sure that they're supplied with plenty of food and anything else that they may need to survive for quite a while on this island. After dropping this person off, the rest of the crew have to head to Booty Isle, which is very close nearby, and just park the boat over there. Here, they will vote for Legendary Search for Cursed Treasure under the Athena's Fortune tab in the quest table. After they vote, the person that was left on the island should see the compass shaking, vibrating back and forth. If that happens and you follow it, you will be able to dig up the Cursed Treasure. It will either be a chest of rage, chest of sorrow, or chest of grog, or the special chest that I talked about at the beginning, which I'll talk more about later. If you are digging, that person digging, try to make sure to separate the different types of cursed treasure you have as they will go to different places when you're done, and I'll explain that more later as well. The people back on the ship will then vote to cancel the current voyage and put up a new cursed treasure voyage. You can also just propose one under the already made one and just revote for it, but either way, you need a new cursed treasure voyage. You will then be able to repeat this for as long as you could possibly want, but if you do not follow the extra steps, you will still not have a successful journey. So that's the basic idea, but here's the extra steps. The first couple things is making sure you know where to put each type of the chest. As I mentioned, you should be separating them, that way you can put them where they need to go. The first one that you need to worry most about, and this is where the rowboat comes in as well, is the chests of sorrow will have to go on the rowboat. You cannot, at any time, attach this to your boat. Depending on how many you have, this will sink your ship extremely fast or maybe even instantly. Like I said, depending on the amount of chests you've gathered and how long you've been doing it. But if you have more than a few, these chests could sink your ship insanely fast. In order to get these to plunder outpost, either harpoon onto the back of your ship while they sail there, or just go ahead and start rowing while they grab the rest of the stuff and meet up with your crew to sell. It's not a very far row, so either one really does work. I went ahead and rowed in our playthrough. Also, look out for these special chests. The special chest is a chest of sorrow on this voyage. It's an extra it's an extra sorrowful chest that will constantly cry no matter what. So, but they do sell for quite a bit more. So, keep those. They're worth more gold and reputation. But like I said, they will never stop crying ever. Even if you just have one of these, your boat will start filling up with water constantly. So, just make sure that if you do get one of those that you recognize that it's one of those. It does sound a little different. It looks a little different. So, just make sure that you look out for that because it is a bit different. As far as the placement of the other chest, the chest of rage, at least for us, we decided to place it on the very front of the ship, this little piece that sticks out. This would cause them to only light this one small area, even if a ton of them all explode together, and you can put this one small area out with a bucket, with one bucket of water, so just make sure you have one on standby and this should be no problem at all. The chests of grog can technically go anywhere, 
but I highly recommend that you put them in a place easily accessible to the harpoons on the Sovereign so you can carry them as little as possible because they are quite annoying to walk with. Now, there is a technique you can use if you have four people and you want to put two people on the island. I will start this with a disclaimer. I have not personally tried this, but in more than one exploit video, people have said that this ex that this method to help you with exploits does work. So I'm going to trust those people. I may get proven wrong, but I'm going to trust those people and explain about how I understand it to you guys. What you're going to want to do is you have one of the two people that you drop off on the island die, and everyone else will vote them into the brig, and then the other person that's on the island with them will revive them. From my understanding, this should make it so that only two people are needed to vote for the quest, and then you can have two people on the island because the game thinks that they're in the brig, but they're not. Now, I want to make it clear, like I said, I have not tried this method, and because I'd never have four people to even try it with, but I've like I've seen quite a few comments. So let me know if it works. I'm pretty sure it should though or let me know if I'm getting wrong how it works That way I can try and correct it Another tip that will help you guys in starting your journey and making this quicker streamline it a little bit Is that you can start and dive to the cursed rogue tall tale to get you to plunder outpost Which is right next to your needed island So we spawned at sanctuary dropped that cursed rogue voyage and just dove straight to plunder outpost super quick Saves a ton of time and streamlines the process quite a bit more I also forgot to mention at the beginning you will need to raise gold order emissary to make the most of this exploit. Now I'm going to show you guys a quick demo of me and a few friends doing this and then I will showcase what we made as far as gold and reputation and the potential for how much you can make. First on our voyage, like I said, you want to raise that gold hoarder emissary flag. We just decided that we were going to go till we got grade 5 emissaries so that way we could see how many chests that was and how long that took. We then used the cursed rogue tall tale to get to plunder outpost. It spawned us right on the dock, super easy, we stocked up a little bit and then we were headed straight south to lookout point. The crew decided that I was going to be the one on the island digging for treasure whilst they voted. They dropped me off at lookout point and I then they headed straight to Booty Isle. And they started. They started to vote and I would dig and they would vote and I would dig and then they'd cancel and that's how, you know, do the exploit, repeat it. Now I did have to make sure each time I dug that I was full health because a few times I got pinned by the skeletons and they almost killed me. They got very close a time or two, which would cause me to have to, they would have to bring me back on the ship and then we'd have to pretty much restart. So definitely don't want to die. Like I said, make sure you have plenty of food. As I dug up the chest, I also made sure to separate them out into different things different stacks so we could put them in the right places later. I also highly recommend putting the chests of rage inside the water that way they don't constantly explode and catch you on fire when you're walking around. We only stacked for about 30 minutes which gave us grade 5 emissary and a ton of cursed treasure. We even got the special crying chest, the everlasting crying chest, and they started bringing our brigand team back as and they got me the rowboat that I needed. As I loaded into the rowboat and started rowing towards Plunder Outpost, they got the rest of it, put the chest where they needed to be, and by the time that they were catching up to Plunder Outpost, I was already pretty much there, so it was pretty pretty well timed. In total, we spent, like I said, 30 minutes actually stacking the loot. That does not include sailing or selling time, because that's going to vary massively between different crews, and honestly a little bit of luck too, depending on how your sailing is going and where you spawn. We made a total of 210,595 gold, which is 421,190 gold per hour. However, I could see that with a potential of a really amazingly efficient and focused crew and one that's had quite a bit of experience doing this because this was our first time, you could definitely have a potential of about 750 gold per hour with this. Like I said, very efficient, focused crew. Not us at this moment because we this is the first time we've done it. In this 30 minutes, we also got 5 levels into gold holders, and that means that you get about 10 levels per hour, and you could have the potential of 15 to 20 levels per hour, once again with an extremely focused and efficient crew, not us on our first time through. This will also get you a ton of commendations for gold hoarders done, because these chests are supposed to not be necessarily common, so a little bit rare is what they're supposed to be, and but when you can do this, you can get those commendations done, so you don't really gotta worry about them, and they'll pile on some extra rep with the rest that you've sold. Now, obviously, as you guys can see by the price and the levels and all that stuff, this may not be the most insane exploit out there, but it is definitely still a very solid way to level it, and it will add variety to your exploiting adventures, as well as provide you with a backup for when some of those other exploits get patched. So do this if, you know, if that vault one gets patched, or if, the Seafort one gets patches, I'm sure it will probably very soon. Use this one as the backup till I can find more. 
If you guys have any tips or other exploits that you know of that I have not made a video on yet, please make sure to let me know in the comments. And if you need someone to do this with, remember, you may be able to find someone in the comments if you guys do actually start a comment string with that. As I said at the beginning of the video, I'm trying to make it to 5,000 subscribers, and it would mean a lot to me if you could help me get there. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.